I literally look like a spaniel who's been to the grooming parlour. What a vibe. If you too have a major family event approaching, like a wedding, and you'd like to look like the family pet for the occasion, then please stay tuned. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well. First things first, I need to approach this slightly awkward breeze that's currently coming at me. If you're in the UK, you will know all too well that we're currently going through a heat wave at the moment. And I'm not just talking about World Cup fever. Ew. And if you're not in the UK, you probably also already know because every single British YouTuber is just moaning about how hot it is. I've literally got no choice but to put the fan on while I film this video. Otherwise, I will just be even more of a sweat bag than I normally am. So if you do notice that my hair is slightly flowing in the breeze, makes me feel a bit like Nicole Scherzinger, not gonna lie, then that would be why. There is a fan behind the camera. I'm really hoping my microphone doesn't pick up on it, please. Fingers crossed, that'll be great. But anyway, back to today's video. Um, I thought we'd do another little size 14 get ready with me today. I actually wasn't going to. I was gonna leave this one for a little while um, and do some other stuff in between, but this has been so highly requested over on my Instagram um, that I can't really ignore it. If you do follow me over on Insta, if you don't, it's at Lucy Jane Wood you know what to do. Then you might have seen that my boyfriend Adam and I, we spent the last weekend together with all of Adam's family in the Cotswolds uh, because his oldest brother got married. And it turns out that a lot of you guys, just like I was before the big day, um, are really, really stressing about what to wear to a wedding this summer. I am actually gonna do a little video um, with a few other options that I came up with. I thought that might be quite helpful to do like a wedding outfits ideas video. But today I'm gonna show you the makeup, the hair, I mean, it hasn't quite gone to plan. The shoes, the bag, pretty much head to toe of everything that I wore to Adam's brother's wedding recently. So if you do enjoy this video, then please do give it a little thumbs up, but don't forget to hit subscribe button if you are new. Speaking of subscribe button, yeah, 100,000 subscribers. That's a thing that happened the other day. It was actually the end of the wedding weekend, so it was a good end to the weekend, but I will talk about that another time because that's a whole other matter of craziness. Um, so I'm gonna get stuck in with what I wore to the wedding. Not my wedding, someone else's wedding. Good. Okay, first things first, as always, but particularly today because this volume is out of control. Oh, that's a nice look. I should've just gone with this. I mean, this is just not okay, is it? Hermione, hello, is that you? Gonna kick things off in style with some Cheap As Chips Primark eyeshadow primer, but hey, it did the job. So I'll be honest, I did have quite the freak out about what to wear to this wedding. Um, I totally left it till completely the last minute and then it sort of got to a week just before the wedding and I suddenly thought, shit. So it was at that point that it suddenly became all action stations and I went into full on panic mode and I literally bought so many dresses. <laughs> Gonna use my absolute fave of all time ever. This is the Too Faced chocolate bar palette full of warm toned neutral deliciousness. I'm not gonna lie, I reckon there was maybe a circulation of about 25 dresses in that time frame before the wedding um, because I just had absolutely no clue. And in the end I bought so many different kinds of dress. I bought like floor length ones, which were beautiful but made me feel slightly like I was going to prom. I bought like slinky ones. Surprisingly enough, that was not the one for me. Short ones, I bought tight ones, I bought loose ones. I literally, you name it, I bought it and tried it on. All in all, I basically came to the conclusion that dressing for a wedding is a horrible experience. Adam actually has three brothers and all three of them were ushers for their brother who was the groom. Uh, so he like got a suit given to him and a fancy tie. All he had to do was buy some brown shoes. Like, you sure you can manage? So he really did not understand the struggle that I was going through alone. And he just sort of came home from work and was like, why is my bedroom the contents of ASOS? So that's all I've got to tell you about the wedding, really. It was great from start to finish. Went with absolutely zero hiccups of any kind. The bride turned up, which is always a bonus. She looked amazing. And then me and Adam beat up the dance floor till about one o'clock in the morning, I think. Everyone had to request a song um, that would get them on the dance floor if it was played. My request was obviously Whitney Houston, Wanna Dance With Somebody, one of my favorite songs of all time. Literally, maybe my fave maybe tied with Sweet Disposition, Temper Trap, my two fave songs ever. I'm pretty proud of myself because it was arguably the biggest floor filler of the night. And that's always quite a, quite a sense of pride, isn't it? When your request fills up the dance floor. It's 
great feeling. But I think while I do the rest of my makeup, I'm gonna just get some questions quickly on Instagram because I thought I'd have more to tell you about, but I don't. The wedding was great. My new job's going really well. Everything's fine. Okay, first question really made me laugh actually. Um, do you ever get bored when living with someone because you can't do some things you want in the house so that you won't bother them? If you are new around here and you don't really know anything about me other than I try lots of jeans on at once. I live in a flat with my boyfriend Adam. Um, we moved in in September, so it's been like nine months now. A little flat baby. It's the first time that I've ever lived with a boy <laughs> and i'd say that i don't i don't really get bored with living with him at all it's actually really nice <laughs> which i suppose is a good sign seeing as we're in a relationship i think it's probably a little bit different for me because i work from home um i do youtube as half of my job and then my other half of my job is freelance writing um so it means that i'm in the flat on my own with my own company quite a lot so i don't really get that feeling of being like oh my god i'm going insane i need some time to myself because i kind of get that through my work which has its ups and downs. And actually, Adam isn't really the kind of person that enjoys being on his own. He's not very good at um, just dealing with his own company. He likes to be around people all the time and have someone to chat to all the time. Which if I worked in an office would probably do my head in because I would come home and want some time to myself because I like need time on my own. But having said that as well, some evenings I do still wanna just sort of like chill by myself and like sit and do my nails and like do a face mask and do like a naked fake tan session and all that kind of stuff so i think we're actually pretty good at still sort of doing our own thing even when we live together right i'm getting a bit fancy i don't know if i've ever actually done this on youtube before um i'm gonna attempt to put some false eyelashes on because i did wear them last weekend i feel like they make such a difference when you're having photos taken and stuff these are the ardell wispies i think I've had the Demi Wispies before, but these are the full-on Wispies. <laughs> the full Monty Wispies. Um, so let's have a go at doing these. Will I live to regret trying to do this on camera? Almost certainly. Come on, you little div. Sit properly. Are we there? Oh, come on. We're so nearly there. There we go. A bit wonky, but not terrible. I'm literally gonna peel these off as soon as I finish filming, so I'm not gonna try too hard. Right, let's do some eyebrows and let's do the next question as well. How do you balance your own work like your YouTube channel with your new job? The answer to that is not very easily and I'm finding it really difficult. After three or four hours of like continuous writing, my brain just seems to be like, nope, that's enough creativity for one day. Let's just go and sit on the couch and watch RuPaul's Drag Race. Oh, I totally forgot to tell you as well that I've just primed my skin. Uh, before I put some foundation on, this is the Too Faced Hangover Primer. Um, one of my absolute faves. So, so good. Just gonna give this a little shake. I actually used this amazing stuff for the wedding. This is MAC Face and Body. <laughs> what just happened? Isn't it so weird when your brain does stuff like that? Like, you just suddenly, like, stop gripping something? Or, like, you suddenly, like, forget how to use your limbs properly. This foundation I actually think is really really lovely for weddings because I just kind of think you don't want to go too heavy because like you don't want to look super made up compared to the bride especially in bridal makeup is always sort of very sort of like light and pretty and glowy and natural isn't it? So you don't want to sort of stand next to her and look too much like a drag queen. Although if it's Aquaria I would quite like to look like that. While I blend this in a little bit the next question is what was your Tinder experience? Really? I think I'll keep this one short and sweet, shall I? Um, I started Tindering, I wanna say maybe like six or seven months after my very long-term relationship fell apart, so let's put it that way. I think it was really important that I did that because my confidence after that breakup was non-existent, it was non-existent i hated myself i blamed everything about myself mostly my appearance but also my sort of like shyness and lack of confidence and i just i i entirely hated everything about myself and thought everything about myself was the reason that that relationship didn't go to plan and also because there was cheating involved that was just like an extra double whammy of crap really so for me tinder was actually quite an important phase of my life because um, it kind of reminded me, after seven years of being in 
a terrible, terrible relationship with someone who never made me feel good about myself, it kind of reminded me that actually, like, I'm all right. I can, I can get the guys. I can flirt. Funnily enough, just despite that voice, I, uh, I could actually attract some male human beings. Who'd have, who'd have thought? I grew a lot in confidence. I met new people. Uh, which was very, very important for me at that point because I literally had nobody. And then I moved to London and I switched to Bumble and I met Adam. So actually, my dating app experience is not too shabby. I didn't powder all over because I really like the kind of like glowy effect of that foundation, but just added a little bit on the points where I might get a little bit shiny in photos. Just gonna add some bronzer in. This is the Bare Minerals Invisible Bronze. And I'm just gonna finish this bottom lash line as well with some mascara. A little more mascara. A little mascara never hurt nobody. And also don't forget to blend your real lashes into your false lashes, which I've kind of done a terrible job of today. But if I was actually going to a wedding today, I'm not. I'm getting on a train to go back to the Wirral, which is significantly less glamorous. I'll probably end up having an absolute Jeremy Corbyn of a journey, end up sitting on the floor by the loose, which is what normally tends to happen when I've paid about 200 quid to get back to Liverpool. Okay, secret weapon for this makeup and that I fully recommend for all wedding slash photo opportunities. These iconic highlighter drops, I cannot recommend these enough. I'm just obsessed with them. It catches the light in like the best kind of way, especially if you're outside. Um, and in all the photos that we took from the wedding, my cheekbones are like popping. Even though you can't actually see them on my face because I have an enormous moon face. And then a little bit in the inner part of my eye here. Just so that pops a little. Pop, pop, pop. Cool, and then the last thing that I have to do is some lip stuff. Uh, MAC Velvet Teddy, always. You probably watch these videos like Lucy. You use the same makeup products every single time. Yes, I do, mainly because these are the only makeup products that I've learned how to use. Over the top of that, I'm gonna add my absolute new obsession. I love this lip product so much. I can't actually remember what it's called. Oh, this is the Jouer. I think that's how you say it. Someone laughed at me in the last video because I said it wrong. Rua, Rue, Rua. And you can't really wear it on its own because it's so, so glittery, but that's why it's called a lip topper. So I've just been adding it over the top and then it just looks like the glossiest lip gloss of all time. I love it, genius. And also it smells amazing. Okay, so that is makeup done and dusted, apart from little spritz. Now I look like a wet spaniel who's been swimming. But what I actually did on the day, I've done a terrible job today, was just wave my hair with straighteners. Um, if you're anything like me, I've only very recently learned that skill and I'm still learning. It's a process. It's an ongoing process. As you can see, some days it works, some days it doesn't. So anyway, I'm going to quickly get changed and then I will show you what I wore. <laughs> this breeze though. The power of love. <laughs> this dress. I know I didn't really say that at the beginning, but I'm so happy that I found this dress. It is so rare for me to find a piece of clothing that I feel semi-confident in, um, but there's something about this dress that really makes me feel all right. I love the really like delicate embellishment on it. I'm not really one for loads of sparkle. I tend to be quite minimal in the stuff that I wear, but I feel like this is a nice little detail that suits a summer wedding pretty well. One thing that definitely attracted me to this dress in the first place is this kind of like fluted half cape kind of thing. Not only is it really lightweight and pretty and floaty and girly, um, it's also a great shape to go for if you are self-conscious about the tops of your arms, 
which I know a lot of girls are, and I feel like that is something that really gets in the way when you're trying to find a wedding outfit, because so many of them are strappy or strapless. I love the like floaty layers of the skirt, I think it's a great length. Uh, it's just long enough to wear cycling shorts under, which I did actually do for the wedding. I was very grateful for that because it was a very hot day, and I know that chub rub would have ruined the whole thing for me if I hadn't worn these. So like, if that's you, don't feel embarrassed to wear cycling shorts underneath a nice pretty dress. No one's gonna know. I am not a heels wearer. I haven't worn heels properly since I was like 18. I used to wear them all the time when I was a teenager. Um, but now I'm always very aware that I'm very tall next to everybody. I'm five foot eight. But I did feel that this dress did kind of need heels. Um, so I went for something fairly low, fairly kind of restrained, um, a nice like strappy nude heel that I felt I would wear again in the future. They were a little bit pricey, but I feel like they were a good investment heel. And they were also, incredibly comfortable. I lasted literally from maybe like 11 a.m. till about 8 p.m. in them, just when the dancing started and I changed over. So really recommend those shoes and I will link them down below. As usual in these videos, I will link in the description box every single thing that I have used, worn, mentioned, all products and everything in this outfit will be linked in the description box below. Last time I checked, there was some of this dress in stock but everything I seem to mention in these videos disappears very quickly because you guys are serious about buying things. So fingers crossed a couple of you might be able to get your hands on this. Fingers crossed. So I guess that is the end of this little size 14 get ready with me. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And most importantly, I really hope that you like this outfit because if you don't, I just got all dolled up for absolutely no reason and look like a total Muppet. So hope you liked it. As always, my favourite part of these videos is chatting to you guys in the comments, so get involved down below and we can have a nice little convo. I would love to know what you think of me frock, shoes, bag, makeup, maybe don't talk about the hair because that was an all-round disaster. So yeah, don't forget to drop a little comment down below so we can have a chat. Hit the thumbs up button if you did enjoy this video and don't forget to press the subscribe button if you're new around here. That would be great. Don't forget you can also follow me on Twitter and Instagram, both at Lucy Jane Wood. Also just wanted to say an insanely massive thank you to everyone who's got involved with the hashtag Average Girl Size. Um, the posts have been amazing. I've been completely blown away by how insanely gorgeous and stylish and amazing you all are. I'm doing pretty regular shout outs for people that feature on the hashtag and they include the hashtag and get involved. Um, so if you fancy being a part of that, getting some lovely in between your fashion inspiration, then head over and check it out. And I think that is all I've got to tell you today, so thanks so much for watching, love you loads, and I will see you very soon with another video. Bye! Mwah.